guinea pigs one here so you might be wondering what the heck is this some of you already know I have asthma and allergies so I am allergic to the guinea pigs I'm allergic to their hay and the dust so I wear a dust mask when I am down here in the pig room tidying up dealing with hay dealing with the guinea pigs so for the sake of the video I'm going to take it off but generally speaking I wear that 24 7 when I'm down here because otherwise the air just bothers me with all the dust floating around. So if you also have allergies, I highly recommend getting yourself a dust mask. And if you're using Timothy hay, you can always switch to something like orchard grass or blue grass that is generally speaking less dusty and less of an allergen to people who are irritated with hay. And another huge thing is an air purifier. So I have one running 24 seven down here that has filters that you can wash or vacuum out. It makes the air filter around the room, goes through the purifier and comes out cleaner. It helps with the scent in the air and also taking out the allergens. So it has a couple different speeds. It can oscillate. And then it also has a little indicator of when you should be washing out your filters, which is awesome, a nice reminder. So another thing that we can do is have really good airflow. So for my guinea pigs, they're in another room down here in the basement. So for airflow, we have three vents down here that is connected to the rest of the house. So we have the house fan we can put on to get air flowing through. I can open up the door at the top of the stairs to let air pass through. I have the air purifier blowing air through. And I also have our dehumidifier that also has a fan feature on it to push air around. When air is circulating and moving, it's less concentrated and irritating for your allergies. Another great tip would be if you have the option, don't keep your guinea pigs in your bedroom where you're going to be sleeping. If you have allergies, it's going to be so irritating for you at night to try and sleep. Have them in an open room with a lot of space so that the smell and the dust and the hay is not super concentrated. Maybe in your living room where on nice days you can open up the window safely and have a very good airflow of fresh breeze coming in. I'd say a number one reason guinea pigs are rehomed are because people find out they're allergic to them or to their hay. So if you're looking into getting guinea pigs and you know you have an allergy or asthma to hay, to pet dander, there's a very good chance you're going to be allergic to your pigs and it's going to be up to you whether you can handle it, find accommodations to make it easier, or some people unfortunately no matter what you do you're still unable to breathe properly or function properly with them in your home. So a great idea is to visit a rescue or visit people you know have guinea pigs, interact with them, hold them, smell them, get into the hay. Does it bother you? Are you left feeling short of breath? Is your chest tight? If you're noticing these things then definitely guinea pigs are going to be a bother for you. So I have asthma that I take an inhaler every morning and night and I also have my dust mask that I wear. Just these two things make all the difference for me. So as long as I am being good and use my dust mask I usually don't have any symptoms. Once in a while holding the guinea pigs I will get an itchy arm and have a bit of allergy welts on there for a while but generally speaking I don't notice too much unless I'm not wearing my dust mask. So that's my personal story but I do take inhalers every day. So if you're somebody who's not on inhalers and you're starting to get wheezy or a tight chest it's going to be a pretty good chance that perhaps guinea pigs aren't the right pets but definitely try to switch things up and do what you can. So another point that I forgot to mention would be maybe wear long sleeves while you're handling them and then once you're done with your guinea pigs put on a new set of clothes so that you're not having their fur and their dander still on you. So let me know are you guys allergic and how do you deal with it? Bye!